Puerto Plata. The province of Puerto Plata is rich in cattle and agricultural production. It's known as La Costa de Plata, or the Silver Coast. The Septentrional mountain range divides its geography. The provincial capital is San Felipe de Puerto Plata, known as the Bride of the Atlantic. It was founded in 1496 by Bartholomew Columbus at the foot of the Isla de Torres mountain. The Ciudad Vieja, or Old City, possesses the largest inventory of Victorian houses in the Caribbean. Its streets, windows, and balconies are proof of a glorious past. Duarte Park serves as the backdrop for the reenactment of scenes from the colonial period. Adjacent to the park is the Cathedral of San Felipe. The capital's boardwalk on the Atlantic begins at the Fortress of San Felipe. Built in 1540, the fortress now boasts a museum in the place that once served as a jail for leaders of Dominican independence, including Juan Pablo Duarte. The province is also known as the Amber Coast, thanks to the large number of mines of these precious stones with millennial fossils. The Amber Museum and Amber Gallery, both in the Old City, enable visitors to appreciate the beauty and mystery of Dominican Amber. The city has a cable car that operates in the Isabel del Torres Mountain National Park. The mountain's peak offers a statue of Christ the Redeemer, a botanical garden, and expansive panoramic views. Since 1971, Puerto Plata has been the Dominican Republic's leading tourist destination. Playa Dorada, located near the city, is one of the largest all-inclusive resorts in the world. It attracts the most tourists of any such resort in the Caribbean, over half a million each year. Sosua is a magical village that developed with the arrival of European Jews at the start of the Second World War. It was a vacation area for residents of the Cibao Valley and has expanded its market to provide hospitality to tourists from around the globe. Cabarete is another charming village located on the Silver Coast. It's known as the world capital of windsurfing. Nights in Cabarete are filled with romance and dancing in the moonlight. Punta Rusia lies at the other end of Puerto Plata province. This coastal village is an ideal spot for tranquil vacations. Nearby is Arena Key, an island rising in the middle of the ocean that's visited by thousands. Founded in 1493, La Isabella is the first community established by the Spaniards in the New World. Its foundation forms La Isabella National Park. The park preserves the walls of what was Columbus's first house in the hemisphere, as well as the site of the first mass in the Americas and the first cemetery. Imbert is considered to be the region's main adventure tourism destination. The experiences here are unforgettable. <laughs> Puerto Plata also offers cultural attractions. The Taimascaros with their colorful clothing and intriguing masks keep the artistic traditions of their ancestors alive. Espaillat. Continuing east along the Silver Coast, we arrive at the province of Espaillat. Rio San Juan is an important destination on the north coast. Grigri Lake is a gigantic well of fresh water. The mangrove swamp here forms a unique ecosystem of varied fauna. Other beautiful beaches in the province include Caleton, Diamante, and Playa Grande, which has a golf course in front of the sea that's considered to be one of the best in the world. The highway that connects the coast with Mocha, the provincial capital, provides awesome panoramas of the Dominican countryside featuring the red flowers of flamboyant trees. Moca is located in the Cibao Valley. It's 
Agricultural productivity is legendary. Maria Trinidad Sanchez. Maria Trinidad Sanchez has lovely coasts. Its capital is Nagua. On the beaches, you can eat fresh fish, dance, and have fun. Samana. The province of Samana boasts exuberant vegetation surrounded by beautiful beaches and a backdrop of the Samana mountain range. Santa Barbara de Samana is the provincial capital. It's a friendly port with a large pedestrian bridge that has become a symbol of the city. Samana has countless sites of interest. capital is the tiny Levantado Key, which rises up in the immense blue sea. The National Park Los Aitises offers magnificent views and the chance to visit dozens of caves with primitive art. This area is one of the most environmentally diverse in the country. North coast of the province are the towns of Portillo and Las Terenas, and the beaches of Alvae and El Rincón. The Samana mountain range holds charming secrets. Limon Falls, close to 200 feet, is a must-do excursion. connected it to the interior function. Now only the vestiges remain. The chapel of Our Lady of Lourdes is a colonial relic. One of Samana's main attractions is the annual visit of the humpbacked whales. These gigantic mammals arrive in February and March near the coasts, leaving the cold of the north and creating an amazing show for spectators. We will now head to the center of the country where we'll visit